Have you ever wondered when you're at a casino and you're gambling, if the dealer is on your side or if the dealer is on the casino side, if they know you are a big effing tipper? You know, you see Dana White, he throws these uh, dealers 5,000 tips, 10,000 tips, forget about it. So you kind of ask yourself, you think uh, they're rooting for Dana because they know if he wins, they're getting a big gigantic tip, mother effer. And if he loses, I'm sure that Dana is still respectable, but he ain't giving them no five or $10,000 tip if he loses, you know. So I'll just tell you from personal experience, I'm not as big as a tipper as Dana, but you know, there's times I'm playing roulette. I win, I throw a hundred bucks. I win again, I throw 200 bucks. I win again, I throw 300 bucks. I do, depending on the size of my win. I'm a very generous tipper. At the end of the night, there's times when I lost everything and I wanted those damn tips back. <laughs> it's like, when well, you have no money, you're like, I just gave that guy like three, four hundred dollars, you know? You're like, ooh. But I will tell you this. I had this one night where I was winning like effing crazy. I was playing roulette at the Tropicana. It's like it seems like I couldn't lose. I was playing 16, 18, 19, 21, 23, 25, 27, all my red numbers. It just seemed like every single spin. Shh, 19, booyaka. Shh, 18, nice. Shh, 16, wow. I just kept winning and winning and winning. I was up like, I think, close to 5,000. I was having a crazy night. Next thing I know, the pit boss came over. And I was tipping, by the way, that dealer like crazy. The pit boss came over and gave the evil eyes, you know? And then I started losing, but I get the, I got the F out of there. But that was my experience, you know? Once the pit boss came over, things suddenly changed for the worse. So what does it tell you? Maybe the dealer was on my side. Because maybe that dealer said, this mother F is going to keep tipping me if I make him win. Tell me what you think. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. I am the greatest entertainer who's ever lived on planet Earth in the universe. The one, the only, a father in the house, baby. Wow!